analogous organs in analogous organs what i said in analogous organs the structural pattern is different and the function is same i can explain about some examples that is a uh, wings of butterfly and uh, wings of bat or wings of birds here the structural pattern is different and the function is same that is useful for the flying and then eye of octopus and uh, humans the structural pattern is uh, different uh, and the function is uh, eye of octopus and uh, eye of human structurally different it means uh, different and function it will be same and another one is the sweet potato and uh, potato one is a root modification another one is the stem modification the modification both are structural pattern will be different but the function is the storage of food materials food materials this type of evolution is called as a convergent evolution and then if you go for the vestigial organs organs here vestigial organs means in previous ancestors that organs is useful later it will be gradually disappear or gradually it will be reduced and it is not able to useful that type of organs is called as a vestigial organs suppose we can go for in our body vermiform appendix in previous our ancestors in previous in our ancestors from that can be produce an enzyme cellulase now present that appendix is present but it is not able to produce the cellulose why at that time it can produce the cellulose enzyme means in our previous ancestors they named as ramapithecus australopithecus homo habilis homo erectus in that previous ancestors they can eat only the leaves for the digestion of the leaves compulsory we need enzyme cellulose now present that type of capability is not there we can eat different types of food materials that's why gradually the appendix size also decreases and it is not able to produce the cellulose enzyme and then hair on the body there is no use for the hair on the body on the body and then if you go for the mammary glands here the mammary glands in males it is not able to useful that type of organs is called as a vestigial organs and then another one atavistical organs atavistical organs means see the organs suddenly it will be appear suddenly it will be appear means suppose if you go for a newborn baby born with having a tail with having a tail means it is our own previous ancestor characters that's why the previous ancestor characters suddenly it will be reappear that type of characters is called as a or that type of organs is called as a atavistical organs based upon this indications it can be described about the organic evolution how the organism is came from the pre ancestors type of organisms tomorrow class we can discuss about the remaining topics